Alright, so this is the <laughs> review of Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King. Yes, I know it's a mouthful, but I think that the programmers deserve me to at least say the entirety of the name, not just Dragon Quest VIII. <laughs> anyway, Dragon Quest VIII is a beautiful game. It was designed by level 5, I believe. I don't know, I'm s I apologize. But... <laughs> Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King is a beautiful game. It is expansive, there's a lot to do. Even now, after I've beaten the game, there's still a lot of things I can do. I can uh, go to visit the towns again. I can just roam around and actually see everything. Now that I have the Gospel Ring, I can just walk without having to worry about battles. <laughs> um, the storyline is <clears throat> really interesting. The plot twist they have with Dolmagus and Rapthorn is really interesting. And I definitely didn't see it coming when I first played the game. I was early, I was completely surprised when that happened. Although I had, you know, subtle hints towards it. <laughs> but um the game graphic wise I give it a mm, nine out of ten. The only reason why I give it that is because it's very reminiscent of the Dragon Ball Zeri series, and at certain points it feels like you're playing a alternative reality type Dragon Ball game. <laughs> Mainly because of Hero turning into a Super Saiyan, basically when he goes into a state of super high tension. Sound wise, I give it a perfect ten out of ten. The detail they actually went into, the sound of the trees rustling the even the sound of your footsteps going from dirt to grass to stone to wood is all there the sound of princess medea and as her horse form dragging the carriage behind you as you run the voice acting is beautiful there's very few games you can find that actually have almost a pure british accent game a cast now i know the entire game isn't british uh, don't, not all the characters have rich accents. There's Australian, Irish, uh, Russian, I believe, or German. Again, I apologize. I can't really tell accents apart that well. <laughs> French. It's just a beautiful game. It really incorporates different regions, having different accents, different traditions, different clothing styles. I highly, highly recommend this game. <laughs> uh, what else is there? Gameplay, the battle. The actual walking around is beautiful concept. You know, roaming around, you can go first person, get a better view of everything. It's beautiful. The battle system is a little <laughs> interesting because you're always in the perspective of your character when you're selecting your options. It's a new, uh, welcome new experience for me who've always played turn based games where you're side view or rotating around the characters and so on. Um, what else is there? <laughs> There's a lot of things you can do. Customiz customization, alchemy, outfits, weapons. There's just so much you can do. It's a, it's a beautiful game. I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but... <laughs> all in all, I'd give this game a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason why I give it a 9.5 is the reminiscence of Dragon Ball in the game. If they would have gone with a more unique gameplay style, or not gameplay, unique artistic style, I would have given a perfect 10 out of 10. But even then, even that is not, you know, entirely true. I do love the fact that uh, Akira Toriyama did the artwork for it, and he did a beautiful job at it. Um, I highly, highly recommend Dragon Quest VIII to people who want a long adventure and have a lot of options to play at. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King, and I hope to see you in future installments of other games. Bye.